Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Jehovah Sori, the Lord Almighty. Um, the Lord Almighty spoke with me yesterday in a very, very tremendous conversation. And he took me to a place after the church had been taken from the earth. And then uh, in that place, I saw the beast, tremendous beast. And then uh, the Lord set me up with the beast. And then I struck him. I struck him once. And he went down. And immediately the beast went down. He began to rot from his stomach. So this is the conversation I had yesterday with the Lord Jehovah. Jehovah, after he had taken the Church of Christ into eternity, then he took me to a place, and the things were very bad as we were going. I could see that things have changed quite a bit on the earth at that time. And then he set me up with a beast, a very ferocious beast. But I struck him, and then uh, when I struck him, I saw that he began to rot from the stomach right away. So these are the times we live in. We live in such tremendous time. Uh, these are the days when it counts to be wise, to live in the fear of God, to be holy, because Nobody knows the day or the hour. Uh, this is the time at which it's very important to be ready and prepared because the Lord is spending quite a bit of time speaking to me. He's spending quite a bit of time speaking to me about when the church has been taken, the other dispensation. So right now, I have seen that there is a severe clash, a very severe the conflict that ensues between myself and some of the personalities involved uh, after the church has been taken away. And remember, the Lord always wins. So it's a tremendous time. It's a very fearful time ahead. But it will count. It will be beneficial for those that will prepare for those that will take this as a cue, as a sign, as a signal to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. The message has been preached. The message on the coming of the Messiah has been preached. The message as it was during the days of Noah has been preached. The message on the dangers of sexual sin, sexual lust has been preached. The message on the treasure and the significance and the value that heaven attaches to repentance and righteousness has been preached. The message on the visions of the coming of the Messiah have been preached. They have been preached. They have been preached across the globe. And they have been preached from one end to the other. So all nations can literally prepare essentially prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And this is the time at which the church will now be the difference. The church will make a big difference on the earth because then we can win more souls for Jesus as we are in this zero countdown to the coming and the arrival of the Messiah to take the church. I have seen a severe conflict in the other dispensation after the church is taken away. And it's so ugly, nobody wants to be in that dispensation. May those who have ears know that the mouth of the Lord he has spoken. Now, this is he about whom it was written in the book of Malachi, about whom the Lord said he shall send his servant to turn their hearts away and to bring their hearts back, turn their hearts away totally from the world, to turn their hearts away from the delusion, the worldliness you see today, 
and bring their hearts back, to turn their hearts now back to the house of the Lord, back to the Lord, back to the Father, lest the Lord would strike the earth with a curse. And all of you now know what that curse would be. Blessed people, I have seen the Messiah coming. Prepare. Shalom today.